guys, Crystal Navanway here. Yes, it is summer in Phoenix, and so far it hasn't been too bad. You know, temps have been right around 100, 102, which for us desert rats is nothing. After all, it's a dry heat. On Tuesday, the forecast is calling for a high of 120 degrees. There's no sugar coating that, dry heat or not. That is hot. There's a lot of people that really do like our hot desert summers. Seriously, they do. But that's because they've all figured out how to make it work. So I thought, in honor of our upcoming record sunny temps, I'd pass along a couple of those tips for you so you can have a great Phoenix summer yourself. You may not exactly be a morning person, but even our low temps can be 100 degrees or more. So you're gonna wanna get up early and get your stuff done before the heat of the day hits. You can get stuff done in the evening too, but it just doesn't cool off as much. The morning is your best bet. ABC, always be carrying water. Never leave home without it, seriously. If you're outside a lot, drinking a gallon of water in a day is no big thing. Just keep drinking water. Make sure you drink it before you get thirsty. Oh yeah, you're gonna need to be in the air conditioning in the summer, but here's a tip for you. When you're home, it's your nickel. So look for those opportunities for the free AC. You know, like the movie theater, the mall, museums, bowling. Let them pick up the tab. Sometimes they crank it up so high, you might actually need to bring a sweater because you might get a little too chilly. No lie. Sunscreen, 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 oh yes. It gets really hot in the car, so never ever leave your pets in the car during the summer. And if you take them out for a walk, remember the pavement is really, really hot. Uh, you don't want to take them out in the hot sun, on the sidewalk, hiking, whatever. Just think about if you were barefoot on this sidewalk, how much it would hurt. It's hard on the doggy's toes too. So plan accordingly. And make sure that your pets always have a lot of water because they get dehydrated too from doing stuff like this. Hats, 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 and more hats. Wear a hat. It'll keep a little shade on your face and it kind of insulates the top of your head, which is a really good thing. Uh, but insider tip, gotta wear the hat, pace in the right way for maximum effect. Believe it or not, spicy foods will make you sweat and that can keep you cool, but nothing beats ice cream. And try and stay away from alcohol and sugary drinks because they'll just dehydrate you. Your car is going to get really hot in the summer. A shade screen will help kind of insulate it, but even with the best shade screen, uh, the steering wheel is still going to be pretty toasty. Be aware, you might want to keep a towel handy just in case. It's great if you can plan a trip out of town and get a little break, especially come August when you're just so tired of being hot. And sure, in San Diego, they think zonies are just one slight step ahead of Syrian refugees, but hey, we're all just people too, trying to survive. Give us a break. Obviously, a pool can really help in the summer. If you don't have a pool, start finding some friends that do, and hey, if you have a pool, invite your friends over. Don't be stingy. Seriously, heat illnesses are no joke. There's a couple things to look out for. First of all, when you get thirsty, that's the first sign of dehydration. So drink the water before you get thirsty. And you start to get cramps and things like that, know that you're now past dehydration. You're starting to be low on electrolytes. The next phase is heat exhaustion, which is actually more common than you might think. If you're outside a lot and you start getting a headache or feeling dizzy, fatigued, vomiting, that means you need to get inside right away, drink a half a glass of water every 15 minutes until you feel better. It's very important to take action right away because the next phase is heat stroke, which is deadly. That's where your skin is dry, you're gonna start getting a shallow breathing, a weak pulse, uh, your temperature will spike up, you could lose consciousness and you could die. So call 911 if you start getting those symptoms. Don't mess around with it. It's a very, very dangerous situation. If you're safe, you can have a great summer. Uh, enjoy our beautiful weather here, even though it's a little bit hot. This is our winter, our version of winter. So I hope these tips help you enjoy it. If you are low on sunscreen, you need a drink of water, well, you know where to find me, Kristen here in phoenix.com. That's where. Go out there, stay cool, make it a great summer.